Dalle mani e mani, matami da un'ora, dalla nuova che è una sangue, Moisè ti assuma, tutto le mani e uomo, o fa caola uva, e l'uva che cadi, Si ho tolto e tua, Agnesia ofa, ofu keita la muka, liti osa sana, ayongo otio, tapa ie pouli, ako nonka sao kiva, tua oeta pitonga, onefe tu. Vai e sono, ma da onde si va, carne le cuota, si no i antichita, si o to le cuota. What do you know about bees? Tonga is the surviving monarchy in the South Pacific. In the Pacific, before the coming of civilization, we each had our monarch. Tonga is the only remaining monarch in the Pacific. In fact, we had never been colonized. Maybe that's why Tonga is still a surviving monarch and self-government. Never been at war, coming to this conference here, and the theme is peace, security, and human development, I thought to myself, what do I have to take home with me after this meeting here? Universal Peace Federation maintains that any successful strategy for peace must take into account the spiritual dimension of all human identity, experience, and interaction. A world of lasting peace, a world in which people of all nationalities, ethnicities, races, cultures, and worldviews are called to live together in mutual respect, harmony, as the co-founder Dr. Moon described the ideal world as one family under God. One family under God. And Dixon's teaching by example says that a path to such a society is through leading a life of true love and living for the sake of others. As I mentioned, to have a meaningful participation in this international gathering, having peace as its central theme, I have to look at the spiritual dimension of my country's way of life and experience to see how to attain peace in the land. Peace, of course, is not the end of war, but to live in harmony with each other. To be able to live in harmony is to be able to interact with one another regardless of our differences. And we cannot do that without loving each other. And on that basis, we can then be able to live for the sake of others, a selfless love, not focusing on oneself, but on the welfare of others. In this simple scenario, if peace is to be fully realized, 
we have to have love in our heart and to love one another so that peace be realized. The Prime Minister and myself have a monthly audience with His Majesty. To me, this is an opportunity for us to consult with His Majesty as to how to bring our simple problem to bear. If all of us, His Majesty, the Prime Minister, and all those in power, to lead by example by living for the sake of others, we can definitely find ways to bring change to our country in peace and harmony. Love one another, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that those who may believe in him have eternal life. We all believe in God, and that is positive starting point. That God wants us to be one family under him and to live for the sake of others, and that is the only way peace can be realized. Thank you.